Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings. I do want to apologize for not being able to upload a little bit earlier this month. I've been extremely bombarded with all kinds of work, a lot of rituals, rites, uh, candle magic, uh, spell work, and a lot of um, uh, tarot readings, private consultations. So um, I do apologize for that. Um, I do want to mention that we are, as we get closer to the end of the year, if you guys are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to schedule them in, as I cannot promise you guys availability for the last two months of the year because those are the hectic, the most hectic, the most chaotic uh, months for me uh, in regards to spell work and uh, consultations. So again, I can't promise you guys availability availability for those months. So now is the time to start um, scheduling in those appointments just to make sure that you guys get your readings, okay? So anyways, let's get into this reading. This is going to be for Pisces, Moon, Sun, and Rising. Um, before I get into the tarot cards, I do want to mention that um, a couple of days ago, I started um, channeling with spirit guides uh, for the messages specifically pertaining each zodiac sign. So these are messages that were given to me that uh, are pertaining to your sun, moon, and rising of Pisces. Uh, I will say or give you guys the messages and connect the messages to you guys. Uh, take it for what they are. And again, um, we'll get into the reading of the cards. Okay, so let's get into this. This is going to be for Pisces, Moon, Sun, and Rising. Pisces for the month of September 2017. Balance and maturity is needed on your part, okay? So you will be tested for the month of September. Um, truths will come out unexpected changes and new people will be coming in and will be coming out of your life okay so this means new people are coming into your life you will be socializing or you will be con uh, connecting and meeting new people but also people from your present or people that have been in your life will start to move on to their lives getting married getting or having children etc and um, getting into long-term commitments and you're kind of gonna feel like a little bit lost because as new people are coming in, old people are going out. So I hope that makes sense. It's just about cycles, you know? So anyways, um, let me see. <sighs> okay, so I was told very strongly uh, to advise you guys to be very careful when dealing with people who don't have your best interest, okay? Honesty is policy for this month, for the month of September. So what that means is, again, truths will be coming out things that are hidden um, or have been hidden for quite a while. This could represent or be manifested in people that pretend to be friends. Uh, but then you realize that, you know, someone comes to you and tells you, hey, this person was speaking ill about you or putting your information out there or talking um, or commenting in reference to your relationship, etc. And you start to see the real face to them. You're, you start to see the truth character in them. Um, so that's definitely going to be uh, correlating throughout the month of September. Again, maturity is very needed in your part. At this present time, you should use this full moon to come to the determination to what it is that you really want. Um, for those of you guys that are single, if you're wanting to uh, bring a serious monogamous relationship, then it's time for you guys to start um, approaching dating in a, in, a more, in a more practical matter. So what I mean by that is, you know, if you're trying to find a person to date and create a relationship with, you need to start things slow, slow and steady. Um, you know, don't don't be uh, try the best you can not to be. Uh, what's the word? Try the best you can not to fall for the people that are very thrilling and very exciting because that usually burns out and it burns out very quickly. So it's like that crash and burn type of energy. So keep away from that. It's time to grow up. It's time to see things for what they really are. And again, uh, maturity, uh, honesty is the best policy at this present time. Again, if it's you, the one that's been, you know, <clears throat> uh, not being completely honest in your relationship or when dealing with your partner, be very careful for the month of September all the way to the beginning week of October because some things may be coming back and biting you in the ass, okay? So let's get into your reading, Pisces. This is going to be for the month of September 2017. Again, I do want to mention that, uh, you know, you're going to start seeing um, even people that claim to be very close friends of yours, um, you know, wanting the best of your interest, then in reality, they're just looking out for themselves. So be very watchful and mindful about that Pisces, okay? Okay, spirit, what are the messages for Pisces? 
for the month of September 2017. What are the messages for Pisces for the month of September 2017? Adivinando desde el pasado, voy adivinando hacia el futuro. Constantemente mis seres me dan la facultad para ver el más allá. Adivinando desde el pasado, voy adivinando hacia el futuro. Constantemente mis seres me dan la facultad para ver el más allá. Okay, this is one more. Okay. <clears throat> I was just talking about relationships and making choices or watching what you do. Pisces, the lover's card. Lover's card could be represented as a Gemini. If you're currently dealing with a Gemini, be very careful uh, not to, you know, um, jeopardize a relationship that you're in at the present time. Um, if you are in a relationship uh, because it could be a little bit spiteful just know that okay and be careful with that now your first card is the five of wands the ten of cups the hierophant the queen of wands the three of cups the empress the two of cups the king of cups the six of cups the wheel of the year the justice card and the six of wands general energy is the ace of swords <laughs> so okay the messages that were given to me through spirit guides are very on point in this reading obviously honesty is the best policy for the month of september you have the ace of swords it's new beginnings but it's also talking about the truth coming out or getting to the truth so again if you're the one that's being a little bit deceitful watch your actions if it's your partner the one that's being a little bit deceitful truths will definitely be coming out for the month of september okay so you're starting the month with the five of wands the five of wands is an inner struggle but it can also represent a very chaotic energy uh, a lot of craziness going on and not having clarity in your relationship or in your family integration uh, so this could be with your husband this could be with your wife uh, this could be with your boyfriend or girlfriend okay now you do have the ten of cups here and the ten of cups is definitely talking about family uh, but more than family, it's talking about how other people perceive your relationship. And this is people that have very old values or that, um, you know, if you've been dating someone for, I don't know, four years, uh, the Hierophant is definitely talking about it's time to take it to the next level. If your partner's not making a commitment to you, now is the time for you to truly analyze, is it worth pursuing? Is it worth you still putting effort into this relationship? And the reason for that is, again, uh, you might be the one that's wanting uh, that structure or that, you know, that that coming of old values and marriage and etc. Um, and if it's if it's your partner that's doing that and you're the one that's uh, kind of uh, straying away from, you know, monogamy. Uh, now is the time to reevaluate your relationship and come to terms if what you want is commitment. And if the answer is yes, then it's time to speak up to your partner. Um, if it's your partner that wants monogamy and commitment and you're not wanting it, now is the time to make a choice uh, because inevitably the next step uh, to take it to the next step or the next level is basically commitment at this point. Now you do have the Queen of Wands here and the Queen of Wands could be a representation of a fire sign. So your partner may be a fire sign which would be a Leo, Sagittarius or an Aries or it could be a person that you're dealing with that has influences over your relationship. Doesn't have to be a female, could be both male or female because it is a general reading. Now the Three of Cups here is a celebratory type of energy but I do feel that uh, the Three of Cups can also be a representation of someone not taking the relationship too seriously. So it's either you or your partner that is not, ta it's taking the relationship very loosely. And it has to do with the fact of, you have the Empress card here, and the Empress card is definitely talking about uh, a mother energy. Uh, or it could be a person that uh, is a mother figure to your partner or a mother figure to yourself. Um, that this person perhaps... Um, has something to do with your relationship or advising you um, you know it's time for you to walk away from the relationship or it's time for you to settle down etc and it's kind of triggering you or putting things in your head where at this point you're starting to wonder or question your relationship uh, for those of you that have are married at the present time again the five of wands definitely talks about a lot of chaotic energy going on but this is more so in the outside perspective which is relatives of your family or of your partner or family members of your family 
And the Hierophant is definitely talking about a wise person or a person that you go to to get advice. Uh, the Queen of Wands could be a representation of the energy, uh, the person that you're going to as they're being represented one next to the other. So again, it could be both male or female. It doesn't have to be male or female. It is a general reading. Again, like I said, um, the Three of Cups is definitely talking about uh, not taking some type of commitment, not taking it seriously, or the fact that you're staying away, you're trying to stray away from commitment. Um, with the queen, uh, sorry, the Empress card here and the Two of Cups, there is a need for you to believe in yourself or trust yourself, okay? Uh, the Empress is all about confidence. It's all about uh, abundance, love, and beauty. So again, if you feel that you've been lacking some type of, uh, like they're not putting enough effort or giving you enough attention, uh, the two could be representation of duality as well. So what that means is... Um, having to come to terms and understanding that no one can make you happy but yourself so you can, you have to start the work within yourself the inner work i should say and value yourself uh, love yourself know your worth and the moment that you're coming to terms with knowing uh, what you bring to the table or what you bring to the relationship and you start seeing it from that perspective you're going to learn that you're the one that's mostly bringing um the stability in the relationship or the reason why you guys have progressed this long is because of the hard work that you have put and now is the time for you to go within yourself and to learn to love yourself because only then will you be sure only then will you be committed to yourself and love yourself enough that if this person cannot give you the commitment that you're wanting you will not waste one more second and walk away from that relationship towards someone that is willing to uh, give you that type of value, respect, and commit to you, okay? Now, for those of you guys that are in a serious uh, relationship, not relationship, sorry, in a serious uh, monogamous relationship or marriage, uh, there's a lot of changes going on with you guys, but I feel that there's a lot of energy surrounding you because I do see a lot of personalities. So th the focal point here is the Empress and the Two of Cups. Try the best you can to have strong communication with your partner, okay? Even if it means um, learning to agree, agree to disagree um the two does represent duality so again it, try the best you can not to bring out the worst in your partner try not to tease them or push them to the limit because what you feel at the present time that could be um you're very secure with your partner uh could actually turn against you because this person will come to the realization again of that self-love and accepting that you know what I don't have to deal with this I I have to move on from this or I can no longer allow you to disrespect me in this way so just be very careful about that Pisces now you do have the six of cups here and the six of cups definitely talks about children but it can also represent being nostalgic or uh, being nostalgic towards a point in your life where you were actually happy with your partner again I feel that there's been a lot of discord or miscommunication um, but you do have the wheel of the year here and the wheel of the year striking luck or your luck changing in regards to your relationship um, basically with the wheel of the year it's like you've hit a point where for some of you guys it's commitment and if there's no commitment that you cannot move forward in this relationship for others of you um, it's about dealing with karma okay so if it's you the one that's been misleading or the one that's being a little bit deceitful again like I said honesty is the best policy for this month because you will be having to deal with karma karma from the past or karma of how you've been de uh, treating your partner now you do have the six of wands here and the six of wands is feeling victorious or feeling triumphant um, and this is based off of the fact of the king of cups so the king of cups could be a representation of you Pisces because you are a water sign but it can also represent you dealing with another water sign that's uh, interested in you or putting the effort to get to know you um, the six of wands definitely talks about a lot of people congratulating you or uh, admiring you but this is more of an admiration from a distance so again for some of you guys that are single at the present time uh, this could be representation of another uh, another water sign that's interested in you but you have no idea because they ki kind of like a secret admirer um, that will be revealing revealing themselves to you by the end of September okay so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this reading comment like share my videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely do so and I will be seeing you guys at the middle of the uh, at the middle of the month for the love readings okay blessings to all of you guys bye